TVC kids, we are back with part four of The Squire and the Scroll. So in case you've missed them, go back and look at the first three parts on Instagram. But if you've missed it, I just want to give you a short little recap. There's a kingdom and it's lost its lantern of purest light. And the king brings in his final knight. Everyone else has disappeared. He brings in the final knight and the knight brings along with him a squire, a young boy, kind of like you guys, right? And he is going with him on this quest. Now, the, the squire has something that the knight doesn't think about too often. It's a scroll. And the scroll is given to him by his parents and it has five rules on it. And those five rules help guide him. It helps keep him pure of heart. And so we've talked about each one of those and I've actually sent you out through email, a little um, scroll that you could fill out the answers and the questions and stuff and then design your own. So look back on that through email, ask mom and dad to help you with that. But we're gonna start reading and finish section four. Here we go. Soon the young man, which is a squire, stood before the red mountains that glowed with an unearthly fire. Stifling vapors rose up and surrounded him in a chasm that led into dangerous deep caverns inside. Oh my goodness. The squire sniffed the air as his hand went through the parchment at his side. That's the scroll. The scroll says, breathe only that which is pure. He looked around and discovered a single beautiful flower that stood by the entrance of the cave. And it just so happens that Mr. Chris brought me some red flowers today. So this is what it was, just a single flower in the, in the ground. Everything was just rocky and there was one flower waiting for him. Holding the bloom close to his face, the squire breathed the scent of the flower and was able to pass through the smoke to the caves inside the mountain. So all the air was dark and gloomy and smoky. And so he put his nose and breathed the freshness of the flower and that got him through. In a great hallway that wound down and down and down into the earth, the squire found himself between statues of stone on his right and on his left. The knight, whispered the squire, his companion. Do you guys remember the knight? The knight that was supposed to be brave and was gonna take care of all this? The knight got stuck in that cavern, didn't he? Because he did not guard his heart and he went after the jewels and next to the jewels were those scary, scary evil faces, right? So the knight was frozen in this cavern. The knight, his companion, was in the same pose as he had been last seen, reaching up for the precious stones on the wall of the Tunnel of Light. Many must have fallen because of their eyes, thought the squire, seeing all the hands lifted up. Then with a gasp, he cried, and there's the lantern. He saw it. He saw what he was going after. He knew that so many nights before him were stopped. Was it that they didn't listen to with their ears of a pure ear or did they, they listen to evil, right? And then there was the shield. Do you remember the shield that he held up so his eyes were pure and he could get through the cavern? And do you remember the flask that had pure water in it? And he prayed and asked God to show him, is this pool of water clean? And when he asked God to show him, the light came out and he saw that the water was poison, but there was a small little flask that said pure. And then there were the boots that he found just laying there. And now there was the rose. Five things that helped him get through and they all went with the five rules on the scroll. The scroll helped him get through this whole thing, but let's see what happens next. He saw the lantern. There is a price for the lantern, a voice hissed. And we're stopping there because the ending is super cool and that's gonna happen tomorrow. So. Get out your scrolls, guys. We have the last one here. It says, breathe only, which is pure. God has given us breath. Everything that has breath should be praising the Lord. So that's a great thing for you to do today.